Hello, my name is Suzanne. Welcome to Stone Magpie. We've got an unboxing today of two kits from AliExpress and I'm really, really, really looking forward to sharing these kits with you. If you watch my channel regularly, you may well have a good idea why. Anyway, let's open the package and I'll explain as we go on. I will put the links to the kits in the description box below in case you're interested in getting these yourself. Okay, so as I mentioned, two kits to unbox in this package. Hmm, now then, it looks like everything is separate. So we've got two tool kits, which I will show you in a minute. And we've got Hmm, looks like the canvases are rolled together and the diamonds are put together too. Okay, let's look at the toolkits first and then I will show you one picture and try and work it all out. <laughs> it's quite unusual for me to receive kits in this way. Okay, so are the toolkits the same? It looks like they are. I'll open one and have a look at what we get. So starting with the tray, we have got quite a large, ooh, get rid of that pink wax in there, quite a large white funnel tray, larger than most basic ones. We get some self-seal bags, one, two, three, four, five, some metal bent nose tweezers, Quite basic, quite flimsy, but useful if you do use tweezers for anything. We get a diamond painting pen with a single placer and a small multi-placer on the end. This one does look like it would need a little bit of help to get those edges off though before using it because that would make it quite tricky to diamond paint with a multi-placer, having those extra bits of plastic there could just trim them off with a craft knife or some scissors and a squidgy for comfort grip. You push that on and then you've got, you can hold your pen with the squidginess on your fingers and quite a big slab of pink wax. And because I bought two kits, we've got two tool kits. I'm just going to check the diamond pen in this one to see if it had those extra plastic bits. Ah, now this one is better. So this one has got the sharper edges to it. So perhaps the other one was a bit of an anomaly. Hopefully you will get one without those extra wings. Okay, let's have a look at the first canvas we have here. together a little bit, pull back off, they are sellotape down, does that sellotape go all the way around, what a nuisance, <laughs> I think I'll have to cut across the sellotape, that's it, take off the first canvas, Oh, I, I don't like the way this is packaged, I have to say. This is really fiddly. <laughs> there we go. The first time I bought from this store, I only bought one kit. So it was a lot easier than this one. Anyway, right. The first picture that I've got to show you. <laughs> Let's get back to the professionalism and not the moaning. <laughs> is... A diamond painting. Now, isn't that useful? Having such a protective cover on, we cannot see the picture at all. I will show you the corner picture very shortly and I will pull back the protective layer, even though I don't recommend it pulling back unless you're going to put the release papers on. There's no need to take all of this cover off unless you're doing that. Okay, it's thrown me a little bit the way that this has been packaged, but <laughs> let's have a closer look at the picture here. 
here she is and there he is too. A lovely, lovely painted elephant with lots of different swirly designs on him and she is giving him a hug and her hair is flowing over the top. Really lovely. And here we can see all of the different symbols which are a mix of capital letters, numbers and different symbols. And I can see at the side of me that I do have a sheet in each pack. So we will look a bit closer at those in a moment. Let's pull back the protective layer to see the oh, canvas itself. There we go. So let's bring you a bit closer. So you can see here all of the symbols, really clear and easy to read, and they all are edged in a black grid. They are squares. So I think they are super clear, actually, really good. Lovely colours, aren't they? With the yellows, oranges, reds, greens, and she's got those big blue eyes. Let's open up the bottom and see our little elephant a lot clearer. Oh, I love elephants, my favourite animal. And just look at him. Oh, he's gorgeous with his lovely trunk going off the edge of the canvas and his tusks here. And he's painted in lots of different colours. Greens, reds, yellows. Really, really sweet. Now... This diamond painting is special <laughs> because you might have already guessed, not sure, but the diamond painting is all crystal. They are all square crystals in this kit. A closer look. Get the sheet out first and see what information we have. Here's a really good picture at the side there to show you the painting itself. 30 by 40. Let's give it a quick measure. I can just see the edges through the protective layer. So, yeah, 30 by 40. So the actual diamond painting size is 30 by 40. It is a true size. Let's see what else we get. We get a little bit of instruction here and we get 32 crystal colours in this kit. We've got all of the symbols that are also down one side of the canvas. We get the colour, the DMC number that relates to that colour, how many bags of each colour are in the kit and how many crystals we need to complete this diamond painting. So lots of information on this sheet. I really like these, I find them really useful. So here are our crystals and as I say, all square crystals and square crystal kits are really difficult to find. So if you'd like to do a full crystal kit, then do go to the shop on AliExpress. I will put the details below so you'll be able to find it easily. They have lots of choices of different paintings to do in full crystals. Do be careful when you're putting your options in though, because they also do these in rounds as well as squares. So just make sure, and I think they do the AB versions as well. So yeah, when you put your option in, just watch out for that. <laughs> okay, so here are our crystals. Really pretty colours in this kit, as I knew they would be. And I thought, no, I'm not going to talk about it yet. I'll talk about this bit a bit later. <laughs> so we've got reds, pinks, we've got a teal, orange, a browner, crystal brown, 
We've got a purpley grey, a, is that black, number two? Yeah, that's a black crystal. A lovely, lovely yellowy, olivey green colour. Pale blue, green, a light silver green, a, hmm, don't know what to call that colour. What's the equivalent? Number six, four, five, one. Yellows, different yellows, a lovely, lovely. Now, is that clear? 762, an orange, a green, purple, green, green, red, teal, red, and orange. Now, this kit is such good value. It was around about something like 11, 12 pounds, something like that. But look at the amount of square crystals you get with these kits. Now, I would say that even if you only want square crystals and you do have the number of DMC that it's equivalent to, then these kits are really good value. Rather than buying square crystals separately, this gives, is a way of getting things in a budget price because... I'm looking forward to trying a full crystal kit. I've never done one before. So for me, it's great. However, if you just want to get them for spares, win-win. <laughs> the price is so good. Okay. So that is kit number one. Now, what could I have possibly got as kit number two? Let's find out. Here we go again with the same roll. So both kits came on this foam inner and honestly, it has kept the diamond paintings really well because there are no creases in these canvases. So again, we've got a fully covered canvas with one of these protective covers that you can't see through. <laughs> Not very helpful when you're trying to show a diamond painting kit on camera, but hey, we'll work with it. Let's pull it back. Whoa, here we are. Now then, you can immediately see the owl here. And then we've got this girl and she's got her arms up in the air and she's doing a pose with a little wink as well. <laughs> now these colours are greens and blues and pinks and all sorts of different floral colours as well down the side here. We'll look at the bottom of the kit. I think my regular viewers will know exactly what is coming next when I talk about this diamond painting. Here she is. This is the bottom with her skirt and her legs and the flowers going up the side as well. With all of the blues and greens and greys. Again, the legend down one side. Here is the picture itself and all of the different mix of symbols down the legend here. Really clear, big lettering, a nice coloured legend. So you can see that really well, really easily, very clear. And again, let's have a look at the printing on the canvas again. Yeah, really clear printing. Again, square with that box around each symbol to help guide you where to put your diamonds. Yeah, nice. Okay, let's get the sheet for this one. 
again a 30 by 40 for this one here. Here's the picture itself. And you'll be thinking, well, that's not normally your style, Suzanne. Well, no, because I have bought this for a reason and I'm really, really, really hoping it works. Again, on the sheet, we have our one, two, this time 34. We have our coloured symbols, the DMC number, how many bags of each and the quantity needed for this diamond painting. However, have you guessed, I'm not intending to use the crystals for this particular diamond painting. I am intending to steal a few. <laughs> right, before we get into that, let's have a look at the crystals in this kit. Again, square crystals. I am going to have loads of spare square crystals. Yippee! <laughs> so, the sort of colours we get in this kit. Baby pink, bright pink, another baby pink, different tones. So, you see, this is what I mean about this option being really good for your crystal stash. If you want to bling up any diamond painting, look, we've got sort of a more lilac -y pink and this is more of a ballerina pink. I hope that camera can pick up the difference in those two. Subtle, but there is a difference. A minty green, a corally colour, corally. Teal, bright blue, another different tone of pink, paler that time. Bright blue, but again, that one will be different. Look, we've got different tone in those two. We've got a dark green, another more mid pink, a silver grey, a brown, a bright green, a bright pink, a pale yellowish colour, bright teal, a grey, an olive, a pale blue, a pale grey green blue, <laughs> a teal, another really pretty pale pastel pinkyish colour, pale red, pale red, bright red, <laughs> bright blue, paler blue green. Now, number three, is that a 310? Yet yeah, black, sort of a grey purpley, clear, pink, green, another red, a bluer, near crystal, near clear, a near clear crystal with a bit more blue. So where was our other clear? Yeah. I doubt you'll see the difference in those on screen. Number 16 is, so that is 762 and 34 is 3200. So very subtle differences again between those two and a purple. Okay, so why would, why would I buy a kit that isn't my usual style? Although I do quite like anime, but there is a reason that I chose this kit. I looked at the colours within the diamond painting because I am trying to complete my crystal ball for Diamond Art Club and I want to do the crystal ball in all crystals. If you have not seen the first video that I did for this, I'll link it in the eye and please do have a look before watching the next video that I hope to do a completion video finally for the crystal ball. <laughs> so I'm hoping to use some of these crystals to get that finished. And what I've done, I've brought the colours. These are the colours that I couldn't complete on my first video. So I'm hoping that this kit has 
the equivalent colours in so I can use it to finish that diamond painting. I'm so excited, so excited. Right, so I need to have a look at the colours and see if there's anything close to these because the first crystal kit I bought didn't quite match up with these colours. I did the majority of it and just couldn't quite finish it. So I've been very patient and trying to wait for this kit to come along. Now, sometimes what I found was that the colours didn't quite relate as well as I thought to the usual diamonds. So let's have a quick look now. 161 I do have in the kit. So let's have a little look for bag number one. Bag number one is here. So 161. Do you know, I think that's going to work well. <gasps> yes! I think that one's going to be okay. Um, 159 we don't have, so I'm going to have to try and find something that tones quite well with this colour in this kit. So we're looking for sort of a paley, bluey colour. I wonder if that one might work. Mm, it's a bit greener. Number five is 317. Could that perhaps work? That could perhaps work, you know. So let's put that there. I will have a closer look at these when I actually do the video. So this is what I intend to do. I, I intend to match up as closely as I can with these diamond painting colours. And fingers crossed, we'll get a completion video for my crystal ball. Oh, that would be so nice. So there we are. That's the second kit and the reason why I got this one. And I am going to have loads of spare crystals to use on other diamond paintings in the future because the crystals I don't use in this kit and any spares that I have when I complete this kit as a full crystal diamond painting, because I do want to see what it looks like as a full crystal picture, then any spares that I have, I can keep for other projects. So it really is a win-win situation with these kits. I hope that you've enjoyed watching the unboxing and hearing what I intend to do with these two kits. Have a look yourself if you're interested in square crystals and do let me know what you think about it. I love to hear your comments. Please do like, share and subscribe. If you want to be notified of when I upload my videos, then please do remember to ding the bell as well. I don't have a definite schedule for uploading. I just like to do that as soon as I can once I've got the kits out and unboxed for you. So to get notified, please do ding the bell and I hope to see you here next time. In the meantime, enjoy your own diamond painting. Take care, everybody. Bye.